What up, sickos? Let me know if you can hear me. I'm in my back kit kizave. <laughs> I'm in my back kizave, yo. Yo, mama. This pandemic is freaking me out, man. I need to go on golf courses and yell at people. What up? Can you hear me okay? Does everything look good? Oh, my God. The commenter, formerly known as Eddie's Mullet, is right here. He's right here. Super chat. See, all I had to do was put something Venom, and you're going to get a super chat out of Eddie. Two dollars. I hope you are well, Eddie, on the other side of the planetary. I don't know if this is going to show up or not because of weirdness. But here it is. Yeah, that's what I thought. There it is. That some lucky person is going to win this tonight. So there you go. We're mixing it up a little bit. This is how I make a living. I appreciate it. What up? Whatever. You know what to do. Okay, so, Stu, let me get you down. Now, um, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, so, well, you uh, make sure you talk to your parents, kid collector. Okay? Talk to your parents, please, even if you have to call me, if they have to call me. I'd like to talk to your, your parents, okay? You're not grown up yet. You still need to go play basketball. Don't get dragged into YouTube, okay? Don't get dragged in. You are a child that reads books about penises. How does this work? You know how it works. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay, now look, guys. Get a pad and paper out. Get yourself a pad and paper out, guys, so you can call your stores. Now, not all these books you'll be able to get, but dang it, we're going to try to get you all these books for cover price. Okay, that's my job. 16, 17, 18. Got everybody down. Um, we're about saving money and speculating on books that are going to come out so we don't have to spend a bunch of money. Now, real quick, free rake. You won from an auction. Free rake, if you rewatch this. Message me free rake on Instagram or Facebook so I can send you your prize from the auction. It was a good one, if I remember. So get your pad and pen out. If anything you like, write it down so you can call your store in the next couple days and get it pre-ordered. Let us begin, okay? For all those other people that are watching giveaway videos and things like that, sorry if you missed it. Um, everybody else who... um. If you have to leave, come at the end and check to see if you won, if you did a super chat, okay? Okay, here we go. A to Z. Oh, mama, here we go. Oh, we got issue. Yeah, okay, here we go. From Ardvark Van Deheim, the popular bat vark wiener. We have Vault of Cerebus number one. This is a homage to um, the EC. I think it's the first appearance of the Pale, the Crypt Keeper. Right? It's the Crypt Keeper. Yes, Barbarian. Um, so there's other giveaways for other things, but. This one's for the super chat. So, um, D Mets. That's how it always is over here for the um, for this show. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Okay. So, I actually like that. Um, EC cover parody, first Crypt Keeper, I believe. But there you go. It's the first annual Halloween special. Vault's been doing great jobs on homages. Next. 
from Ablaze. Ablaze. I'm just going to go straight down instead of trying to figure everything out. Oh, dude, that cover suck. Sumerian People of the Black Circle, number three. Cover A, that thing's dope. God, that cover's sick. If there's a key, I'll let you know. Here's cover B, a hat trick. Sick. Cover C. Oh, shit. It's a Hulk homage. There's your Hulk homage. Okay. I might have to get that. There's the first book going on my list. Sumerian on my list. At the end, I will go over the list with you guys of the stuff I like that I'm probably going to pre-order in the next couple days. Black Circle. Now, I'm sure the 1 in 10 would be... Let's see if it shows it. Yeah, the 1 in 10 will be like a foil of the same thing. But for us, poor people, cover D. Okay? <clears throat> and that's it from a blaze. Make sure I'm doing this right. Uh, oh, T-Mets. Then we got Stu. $1. 26. Then we got Barbarians. We're trying to get that slab. Good luck, Barbarian. Uh, 27, 28. Okay. Keep in mind, guys, I'm not telling you to buy everything. I'm showing you everything, and I'm telling you things I like. Usually things I like do very well. That, that being said, I'll give you my picks at the end. Okay. Now, from Absolute Comics Group, we have... Let's make sure this is coming out. Darkon number three. Some of this stuff you might not be able to keep in mind, but the best bet is to use this list as fast as you can. The next couple of days, you only have till Sunday to order DC and everything else Monday night. But sometimes they're already out, okay? So Darkon 3, the finale of a two-part crossover, White Widow, cover A. Well, I guess that's it. Then you got Markiplier. Let's make sure that's coming out. Yeah, it's been pushed. All these books keep getting pushed. Number three, cover A. No oh, shit, here we go. Cover B is the uh, homage. Cover B is the homage to, uh, what is it? Conan or, or whatever it is. Um, you know that cover. It's a foil, too. Let me make sure that's on the Okay. That's it. Aftershock. Here we go. Sympathy for Devils, number one, new book. Let's make sure it's coming out. Yeah. Winston Wallace has a secret. He is all that remains of mankind and is surrounded on all sides by demons, monsters, and ghouls that picked up where humankind left off. Okay, well, there it is. Cover A. 15 cop... That's a different book, isn't it? No, 15 copy variant. And that's it. Don't worry, guys. We'll get to where we need to get. That was Aftershock, right? Yeah, American Mythology. Let me check the chat real quick. Barbarian was last. Okay, we're good to go. Army of Darkness. There you go. There you go. Thank you. Okay, here we go. Zorro in the Land that Time Forgot, number one. And that's coming out. A, B, C is limited to, I believe, 350. That's how it usually works. Maybe that's not it. Says limited. Usually they're 350. Scary Christmas number one. That looks like it. Yeah, that's nothing. Three stooges. I mean, this stuff says it's coming out, but so look at that. 
They're just selling old crap. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. All this stuff is old. So we're moving on. Antarctic Press. Look at this damn thing. How many times are we going to look at that? It was FOC of 817, guys, which would be FOC of what, 104? Or what is it today? It should be 104, but here it is 1028, off world, number five. Hot, oh, here's a, oh, okay, here we go. Hot belly days and cocaine nights, yeah? The true story of a 15-year-old streetwise girl named Janie. Back in the 78, Janie left behind her abusive parent, passed in small town Ohio, and hitched to L.A. There she soon found out neighbor's business was all about cocaina. For the next eight years, Janie worked to hustle cocaina for the cartel. Then she decided to stop selling and the trouble started this is a true story hmm. there's a rainbow cover cocaina patriotica number three i love these covers love the boobage cover a damn cover b that's just weird that's like that rob liefeld captain america cover almost i wonder if that's like a, a joke at it uh, that was pretty good, though. This is some boobage. Ninja High School 179. I wonder in the chat. Tell me who is collecting Ninja High School. Just curious. Is anybody? Antarctic. We're going to move on to Archie. Betty and Veronica Jumbo Comic Digest 288. It's coming out, guys. So excited. Artists, writers, and artisans. Old Haunts, last issue. Coming out. And a comic book store near you. Black Box Comics, Bigs and Tiny. They sent me a bunch of stuff a couple months ago. And I gave it all away. I'm sick. Bigs and Tiny, number four, is coming out. Bliss on Tap. I remember this book. This book we talked about months ago. Looks like it's finally coming out. Weed Magic, number four. That's a homage to... Um, The Las Vegas movie, whatever. <laughs> yeah. Sick. All right. Blue juice. You know, if it's blue, it's not good. Accelerates 19 forwards and backwards. Hmm. That's juicy. Boom. Okay. Let me look at the chat before you hit boom. Okay. Because, dude, you know how boom is. You go back to your room, and you can do it all night, and it makes you feel right. Oh, boom, boom, boom. Back to your room. See here. RJ Flow up in the ha. 29, 30, 31. Batmobile's chilling. Collector P up in the ha. <clears throat> Thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six. Next, mm, Brian Mulligan. This is, I see a lot of winners in here. Brian Mulligan. Thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, I know when I was fifteen. That's when I started dealing cocaine. Uh oh, there goes Stu and Chester. Stew, 42, 43. Chester, let me write down Chester. Make sure to watch at the end, guys, just in case you have to leave. 44, 45. Okay. We're all cut up. Yeah. Boom time. Here we go. Here we go. Win number five. Yeah. <laughs> Win number five, 25 copy Momo. Let's take a look and see why it's limited to 25. <laughs> Dude. <clears throat> <clears throat> oh, unkindness of raisin, raisins, ravens. 
Number two, cover A by Dan Panashian. I really like Panashian, just so you know. He's a really cool guy. Cover B. Oh, it's by Quistina. Quistina. That's what it is. Quistina Kalida. That's actually a cool cover. Better than Momo. Shit. 10 copy Danny. There's a 10. Okay. Next. Angel and I am sharing, right? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Good. Angel and Spike number 15. I wonder how many people are collecting this. Cover B, we can't see. Cover C, we can't see. 20 copy, we can't see. So thanks, Diamond. Power Rangers Drake and New Dawn, number three, secret cover. Okay, here we, let me, I, I got to talk to you guys for a second. Let me talk to you guys for a second here. Look at the final sentence. The Rangers will take on an enemy never before seen in Power Ranger history. So it's saying new character. Every single damn Power Rangers book has said that for two months. Two months of Sikhnya. So, and my dumbass has been buying them all. You know what? I'm not buying it. Even if it's a million dollars, I'm not buying it this time. 46, 47, 48, 49. You know what I'm saying? Okay, I'm done talking about that. Next. That's cover A. Cover B. Or that's the foil. I mean, are you guys getting tired of the foil? Jesus. I'm going to complain today. 10 copy. Probably complain every day. 25 copy. Okay, let's move on. Mega Man fully charged, yeah. Did anyone read Mega Man? I didn't read it. I, I don't think I got it. Cover A. I wanted to get cover A. Or the other one. Look at that. 25 copy Mercado variant. Here's cover C. We can't see it. Get it? And once in future number nine, second printing. Yay for uh, boom. I got excited, but I was thinking IDW. That's what the problem was. Bra oh, you guys. Here's the good part. Let me catch up. The raisins are so mean. I got that. RJ Flow. Yo. Yeah, 15, 16, 17. Yeah, RJ, I got your first. RJ up in the house again. 50, 51, 52. Okay, here we go. Here we go. You ready? These are the good covers. You know, the ones I like. From Broadsword Comics, Tarot, Witch of the Black Rose, number 124. Ships with two covers in a 50-50 ratio. For every 10 copies... You can get the 10 variant for free. Whatever. Here it is. Yeah. Meow. Okay. Next. Oh, we're getting better. Oh. Here's the deluxe edition. This is limited to 500 copies. Meow. Next. Oh, what the? This is a photo cover. I thought that was a piece of pizza. Dude, I think I have a brilliant idea. You make, you get a waffle cone and you shove a piece of pizza in there. That just doesn't sound right. Or you don't use bread. You just warm up all the ingredients. Oh, my God. I just made up a brilliant idea. So you get the cheese, the pepperoni, all the goodies. And you shove it in the waffle cone. Right? You shove it in the waffle cone and heat it up. Melt it. Dude. Right? I love cheese. Oh my god, that's sick. Happy holiday, boo cat. Up in the half. 
This is the one in ten. Meow. The doctor's in. Okay. Enough of that. Broadsword. Oh, our homies at Coffin Comics, you guys. You shove it all the way in, Barbarian. Oh, wait. Hang on. Sorry. Excuse me. Uh, Connie for a peach. Oh, God. No peach, Connie. Connie. If you like each, that's okay. Stew. 55, 56, 57. Okay. We are just talking about shoving pizza all the way in. Coffin Comics, our homies. Brian Polito, here we go. The stuff you can get at your comic store. But you can go to Lady Death Universe or Coffin Comic Store or whatever and order there. And I think if you use code ECON or ECON5, if you ever haven't ordered, that first time you can use it, I think. I think it's still... I'm going to work something out with them, guys. We need to get... They need to give us a code. Like, really? Dude. Locals. All right, here we go. So from Coffin, you can order these. You get your Hell Witch. Cover A. The Ali Garza variant. Oh, that says horns. Well, they're Ali Garza. The Pantalina. Damn, that's fire. Premium foil cover. It's 25 bucks. There you go. Our other favorite of the channel that we love. Nathan Zerdy's Risque cover. That's 40 Oh my, I saw this last time I went. I saw like a foil or a special one. This is the 10 copy Brumel. Hey, mama, 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 take me to hell, baby. They're going to have their Kickstarter start in a couple weeks. I'm going to try to go there for the Hell Witch Kickstarter. Love it there. It's the best place on earth, guys. You have no idea. You have no idea. One day. One day you'll go there and you'll be enlightened. Dark Horse Comics, here we go. New book. Colonel, weird. Isn't it so weird that that's Colonel and it's spelled Colonel? Right? Colonel Weird Cosmagog, number one. Uh, let's see. Wacky space adventurer Colonel Randall Weird leaves Black Hammer Farm and embarks on a strange journey through space and time. For something that he's long forgotten with his sanity and life at stake. I want pizza so bad right now. Let's cover A. I'm so fat right now, you guys. That cover B is yuck. I like that dude. Face. Oh, look. It wasn't a one shot. I don't think. Look at that, kid collector. If you're in here. Uh, Stranger Things number two. Cover A. Cover B. Ooh, look at that. Cover C. Hellboy and BPRD return of Elfie Cold number two. Cover A. X-Ray Robot, number three, cover A, cover B, that's weird, that's it, okay, now, what's after Dark Horse, DC, yep, so we have to leave... Craig 69, let me get you guys. We gotta stop this screen and we gotta take. Let me get my back computer. <laughs> and we gotta go to Lunar. We gotta go over to Lunar, guys. Lunar. Am I sharing? Yes. We're over at Lunar now. Um, let me check the chat. Stu. Got Stu. I'll get in on that. Mike Bradbury. Mike. 
That's what she said, Mike. Oh, I think I know what just happened. Oh, we better hope. 58, 59. Uh-oh, I don't think he got it. Oh, Craig. Oh, you did get it, Craig. Craig did it. I did it today. 60 through 69. Congratulations, Craig. You got it. You got 69 today, bro. I'm the Batman, and I approve this message. I'm proud of you. Wait, what did I do? Oh, Stu. Stu has been playing the doll. He's like, let me get these different numbers all over. Oh, sorry, guys. I know you're here for the goodies, but there are requests that are being made. 71, 72, 73, 74, 75. We will give just the Tiger Tiger. Not the entire thing, but just the Tiger Tiger. There you go. <laughs> oh, shit, you guys. You guys are great. Okay. Here we go. Time to look at DC. Let's get deep up in this bitch. Here we go. The bad bad. Okay. Detective Comics 1029. Right? After the city of Bane, the Riddlers take over the Joker War and more, the people of Gotham have had enough. The world is changing for Bruce Wayne. And the question he must ask himself, what role does the Batman have in the city that rejects him? As the years barrel forward into what will become a turning point for the Dark Knight, Batman must grapple with the very citizens he has sworn to protect. While a familiar face looms large as a new threat on the horizon, Damian Wayne. That's an interesting picture right there. It says, the chi oh, look at that. On the cover, it says, the chilling debut of the mirror. So, Detective Comics, writing it down, 1029, cover A has the mirror on it, right? Get two of those. Check him out, dude. Batman, the Mermejo, he's climbing the wall. He needs Robin there, though. Okay, Batgirl number 50. Series finale, guys. Series finale. Middleton on cover A. What a trip. Cover B, Terry Dodson. Okay, I don't know if it's going to show me all the covers, but there are a lot of covers for this. Batman 3, Jokers number 3. I still have to read number 2. I did read... Um, last night I did read Department of Truth, that book's sick. And there's been other books like Department of Truth before, kind of conspiracy stuff. But uh, they're just maybe doing it a little bit better type of thing. So this is the conclusion. So there's cover A, B. They're not showing the others. Maybe they will. Um. Oh my God! I just saw something sick. I do know you guys. There's a one in twenty-five, a one in a hundred, and a one in four hundred and fifty. A one in four hundred and fifty, dude. You know what I'm saying? Let me check some shit here real fast. Stew. That's weird it's still on there. Okay, Kim. RJ5. RJ, I can't do the tiger poop. Poot. 26, 27, 28, 29, 80. I should have that one separate, though. Captain Remus. 81, 82, 83, 45. We just double check. 
Stu, I got to keep up with this. Stu for two, 86-87. TC, Jodry. 88-89-90, Okay, is that it? Connie, one dollar. I want to hang out with Connie. Is that wrong? I can ask my old lady permission. Stu 450. Look at you, Stu. Don't be cheating the system. 95, 96, 97, 98, 99. Chester Benson. Okay, here we go. Excuse me. RJ McDonald. There you go. That was a good one. Okay. Dark Knight's Death Metal, Rise of the New God. Here we go, you guys. Backup story spins out a cliffhanger of Dark Knight's Death Metal, Multiverse. Okay, you know, I, if you guys aren't on these, get them. Holy shit, look at that. The Boss Logic, 1 in 25. You guys, buy it. Rise of the New God. Oh my God. Number one, one in 25 boss logic. Fire. Tell me that ain't suck. Tell me. Someone say that ain't suck. Two, three, four. Got you. We got issues. Dude, that's sick. Oh, oh, oh. Eddie just won something. Eddie's going to get a free digital download over in Iraqistan. I'm going to send him something. Congratulations, Eddie. No, no. We'll let my your husband and my old lady go hang out. No. I, I just want to hang out with you, Connie. It's been 10 years. We need to hang out with a girl in private as friends. Friends, Connie. Sick. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Got me. Uh, I'm funny. Okay, here we go. Let's keep going. I gotta say sick again. Okay, last God song of lost children, number one, new book. I think it's interesting Interesting that DC's cutting books and then they're doing more of these. Wonder Woman 765. The invisible jet is going down. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Look out below. Um, on a mission to the heart of supervillain occupied Zandia. Let's see. Who shot down Diana's stealthy ride? The answer will make you dizzy. Dude, Joshua Middleton variant cover. Sick. Wonder Woman 765, cover B. Dude, I'm getting five of them. I I tell you what. When Middleton comes here, dude, I'm going to have so many of his books, and I'm going to be a millionaire because I'm going to get them all signed. That cover sick. Action Comics 1026. This issue is the Superman first family versus everybody. Finally, the end of the House of Kent crap. The new owner of the Daily Planet is revealed. So there's a new owner of the Daily Planet. And there's a bunch of guest stars. There is the Perio variant. That's an interesting one. Batman Beyond, number 48. First contact begins. Something is very, very wrong with Bruce. And he tries to kill the Batman Beyond. Booster Gold. Greatest hero history never knew is going to take Batman Beyond back in time to Gotham of old where Bruce Wayne is Batman, which means Batman and Batman Beyond will meet at last. Oh, shit. I'll give me some of those. Batman Beyond. 
Is that the first meeting of them? I feel like it. How can it? Really? So I'm going to get cover A because they're fighting on the cover. Um, not like it's a huge deal, but kind of cool. There's cover B. Batman Superman number 13. What happens when the Dark Knight and the Man of Steel wake up on a skull-shaped planetoid packed full of cyber versions of their entire rover? They figure out what is What is the strange new branding? Is there how to mutate? Okay. And the Mark Brooks variant. Flash 764. And the Inyuk Lee cover. Hellblazer. I thought they were ending this. Number 11. Justice League Dark. Is this book a once a month? Welcome to the... Uh, no, it's not. Welcome to the other place where the Upside Down Man rules. God, I hope the Upside Down Man does better. I have a bunch of his parents. Wonder Woman will tap into the darkest recesses of power, but can she control it? What slate of mine slate uh, state of mine will Zantana reveal to her greatest villain villain? This issue features a battle so costly that the team's roster will forever be changed. Someone dies. Maybe. Oh, the new cover, Siakna. Legion of Superheroes number 10. And the variant. Red Hood Outlaw number 50. Jason's Dower's final begins when murder when he has was murdered by the Joker. But deep in his heart, blame himself for charging him first into danger. His rage and self-loathing caused him to lash out around him. To all the first arm was there. Now it's time to pay it forward to one person who represents all the mistakes he's made in his own life. Duella Dent. But can he save the Joker's daughter? Don't miss the end of the outlaw era. Cover B by Tan. Suicide Squad number 10. A and B. I didn't put posters. Anyway, that's it. Yay! Okay, let me check the chat. I hope I was showing everything. TC. Connie. Stu. Chester. We got issues. Calm the cheeks. What cheeks? My wife just made me dinner and I was pleased with it. <laughs> I'll be pleased with it too. Food. Sean Myers. 105, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay. He loves getting those pisters. <laughs> what 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay, here we go. Oh, butt cheeks. Tiger cheeks. I get it. I didn't know my butt cheeks were uncalm. Oh, Mad Mike. God damn it, man. Mad Mike. Okay, here we go. Ooh, Mad Mike won big this weekend, didn't he? G you, yeah, he got his books. What did he in 16, 17? Okay, here we go. Back to Diamond so I can finish you guys off. <laughs> Am I sharing? That's what she said. 
Okay, here we go. We did DC. Dynamic forces we're not going to do. Oh, shit. These are like all... Oh, God. They're all like signed and things you have to or graded. Oh, shit. Here we go. Ready? Amazing Spider-Man 850 signed by Spencer. Signed by Spencer plus somebody else. Graded. You can call your store and order these. Uh, Prelude signed. They're 50. Look at the prices on the right. Spider-Man uh, graded. Signed by Kate's, plus somebody else, probably Stigman. Venom second printing, signed by Kate's. <clears throat> second printing, Kate's. Thor 7, Kate's, plus somebody else, plus graded. Oh, look at this, guys. Department of Truth, number one, signed by Tinian for 30 bucks. Of course, you're going to get a certificate. And you only you only be able to get it verified. Signed plus another person, you can get a graded one. Fire blue sun rising, fire graded, amazing Spencer sign. Spencer, immortal Hulk signed by David uh, Peter David probably number zero. Iron Man sketch remarked, ninety bucks. Venture Man signed. What's this? Dynamic Trick or Treat Pack. I'll check this out. Look, I'm glad we looked at Dynamic Forces. Aren't you guys glad? Okay, here, let's look. Dynamic Trick or Treat Trio Pack. This Trick or Treat Trio includes one signed comic, one ultra rare comic remarked with a one of a kind hand drawn sketch, and one high end ultra limited edition variant comic for one low price $110. Oh, excuse me. And 31 cents. You don't get it? 100 plus October 31st. Ha! I, You know, someone get that. Will someone get that? I need someone to get that so we can look. Do, do I need to get it? I don't want to. The trick or treat, yeah. RJ Flow. Three, I got used to. 119, 20, 21. Mike Bradbury. I'm really digging DC's bees. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I'm you know I'm weird. Is someone gonna get that? <clears throat> You buy it, Eddie. Okay. All right, we looked at Diamond Forces because I want to be fully transparent. <clears throat> oh, God, my voice is running out. Dynamite, here we go with the pain. We're going to blow through Dynamite because you know how it goes. Sharing, I'm sharing. We're, I haven't messed up yet. Green Hornet number four, cover A. We're just gonna do this. B. Ten copy, no twenty. Limited version. We got George Martin Clash of Kings number eight, cover A. B. Ten, twenty. Can't see twenty five. Can't see the FOCs. Ah. Uh, you know me, guys. Vampirella, Red Sonia, cover A by Lee. B, Walsh. C, Romero. D. E. Do we seen all these peoples? Ten. We're not doing this. I, I've shown these. They keep pushing them. 10, 15, 20, 25, or 30, 30, 40. Lee Limited. Walsh. Peoples. Castro FOC. Seven copy. 11. These are all FOCs. 15. 21 can't see. 25. 
Oh, look at Dynamite was so nice to us. They didn't make it really painful. Must be an off week. Oh, yeah, it's the end of the month. Usually it's really bad at the end of the month. <laughs> That's what she said. Heavy Metal Magazine. We got Cold Dead War number one. Trained to kill enemies of American democracy and freedom, the Pacific Pearl team continue to carry on their mission, even now, long after they've already given their lives to the cows. A horror war series set across the past, present, and future. A freak occurrence reanimates an island of freshly killed soldiers in the wake of the Battle of Midway in World War II. Cold Dead War is the official sequel to the well-known heavy metal animated film segment B-17, written by George C. Romero, son of legendary film director George A. Romero, and heir to the Romero Dead media franchise. <laughs> <clears throat> It actually hurt my throat. That's what she said. <laughs> that is what she said. Sun Eater number three in a desperate... Uh, why, why am I reading Sun Eater three? There you go. Oh, God. If I see... Look, I love heavy metal, but if I see more Iron Maiden shit, I want to freak out. I've seen that cover 10,000 times. Cover A for number five. B, I haven't seen this. I actually haven't seen these. Little, whatever you want to, you know, the little toy. Look at that. Super Mario Brothers homage. Okay, I'm going to do another, another voiceover. Okay. Up. Oh. We'll try a different voice in a minute. <laughs> Dark Helmet. Bob Bucks. 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. Okay. Here we go. And welcome to 97 People. I hope you guys hit that thumbs up button. It's not just books, it's entertainment. Okay. Song of the Hedgehog, number 34, cover A. I don't see anything there. You don't either. Cover B. 10 copy we can't see. Okay, guys, here we go. The hottest book in the world. Canto, two, Hollow Man, number three. Cover A. 10 copy. Oh, boy, that was really fun. Oh, my God. This book must be getting pushed because I've already gone over it. Crow Leaf, number one, third printing, Peach. Second printing, number three. I mean, that's just... Re <sighs> number two, second printing. Okay. This is what you guys have all been waiting for. It's finally here. We're all going, oh, shit, where's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Last Ronin and who is the last Ronin and why the hell is it taking so damn long it's, uh, they announced it 10 years ago well it's here so you got your piece of paper out because you're going to be writing this one down I think okay here we go Last Ronin I'm writing it down already Number one, let's look at the regular covers. We're not looking at exclusives. We're looking at what they got, okay? I'm going to read it to you. It's the TMT event of 2020. Springing from the minds of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, co-creators Kevin Eastman and Peter Laird comes an epic like you've never seen before. In a future, NYC far different from the one we know today, a lone surviving turtle goes on a seemingly homeless, <laughs> hopeless mission to obtain justice for his fallen family and friends. Oh, we know it's a guy. It said his. So it's not Janica. <laughs> Kinetic Lays layouts from Eastman Inks. Oh, okay. There it is. I bet you it's not Raphael because we all expect it to be Raphael. It's probably Michelangelo or something boring. Cover A. Cover B. Eastman. We can see cover B. 
Look at that. There it is. Oh, that's a 10 copy. 25 copy. Santo Locio. Oh, dude, don't tell me that's it. Well, whatever, dude. Out of those three, I'm going with the one in 10. But, dude, there are so many. Just Google, uh, you know. Google it. Giggle. <laughs> giggle. Uh, giggle. Giggle it, okay? All right. So giggle last Ronin for exclusive covers. Okay. Now that was a letdown. I might as well put oh shit, last run and really pooped on me there. IDW. Well, that was IDW, right? Okay. I image. Nailbiter returns number CX. Tartarus number CX cover A and B. Ascender number 14 and Bliss number four. Chew number four. Dead body road bad blood number five. Oh! Department of Truth. Number two. All right, let me try something. Let me try something. Ready? Howdy ho, everybody. It's the Christmas poo. <laughs> I can't do any more than that. That hurt my voice. <laughs> Did I scare you? Okay, here we go. Cole Turner spent most of... Okay. Now he's the newest recruit of Department of Truth, and he's just found out false memories might be true. They're not telling you anything. Okay? But there's Reagan. Let me guess. They're going to show up... They're going to do a secret variant of... Uh, Reagan's shooter. Whoever shot him. I can't remember. Cover A. Cover B, I like her. I like that character. Dude, there's got to be more covers. Or maybe not. Am I sharing still? Okay, here we go. Philadelphia number nine. And cover B by Matisse. Well, let's look at these. Sean Alexander does Spawn. It's a great cover. Then we got uh, Matina doing a cover. Look at that. Okay, everybody. Here we go. Are you ready to see the most ordered book in history? Well, it's not this one. But let me read this. Spawn raises some of the dead as he storms a palace that has been hiding the secrets of a hidden society whose members can combine to become more powerful than any spawn throughout time, led by their new king, the Omega Spawn. Now, I don't know if the Omega Spawn has been um, talked about yet, but you might want to get on that. Maybe write it down. Write it down. Now, the most ordered cover of the year. Here it comes. The Wakanda Forever cover. Everyone's going to get one. Everybody's going to get one. Right? Watch there'll be a secret black and white. So just remember the homage. The homage, the homage, okay? Spawn 311, McFarlane. There's going to be a lot of them. A lot of them. C. Barberry. I don't know what that is. That Texas Blood, number five. Undiscovered Country, number nine, cover A and B. Okay, here's the other variants for Department of Truth. Here we go, guys. Ten copy, Francavilla. Oh, hell yeah, dude. 25 copy, dude. That looks delicious. Delicious. 
50. Jesus, dude. Is there going to be 100? Not that I see. Pretty cool, though. Savage Dragon 252, second printing, Sex Criminals number 69. Oh, my God, guys. Look at this. Now, I like to get these covers because they're fun sometimes, but it's number 69. The Triple X secret cover. And I have to go ahead and write it down. Seen a lot of wieners lately on these ones. I'm not exactly happy about that. But it's number 69. Shout out for Craig. I'm going to have to get both the variant and the photo. <laughs> I can't wait to see what the photo is. But my guess is they're 69ing. Okay, Lazarus Risen, number five. Man Among Ye is back. Where'd that book disappear to? Unearth, number nine. Keen spot. We got D Ward number four, and cover every cover A and B and C. And the five, so weird. And the free five copy. Kenzer and Company Knights of the Dinner Table two eighty one. Mad Cave. We're almost there. Oh, look at that. Dry foot. Number one, second printing. Scarface homage, y'all. You know what I'm saying, Mike? Where's my Scarface? That oh, I don't have my Scarface. Scarface. All right, here we go. Stargazer number one, second printing. Okay, before we get into this cluster of Marvel, which everyone's been waiting for, let me check the chat. Last super was. And I'll check some questions. Stu was the last one. Perfect. Um, did anybody see the South Park pandemic special last night? <laughs> oh, shit. Hang on. Looks like we got something here. Robert and Stu. What about Robert O'Brien? 130, 31, 32, 33, 34. And Stu. One. Gotcha. Okay. Yes, uh, we'll be talking about that as well. Okay, here we go. Am I showing it? Okay, here we go. Oh, RJ Flow. Let me get you down. RJ Flow. Five, three, six, seven, eight, nine, forty. Okay, here we go. Strange Academy number four. Let's take a quick look. Okay, there's some weird store door. You might want to pick this one up just in case. Um, there's doors that no one's been through. The students want to go through every door. And it says at least one of the students will bear some significant consequences of their actions. So either they change or, you know, who knows. There's a really shitty variant. It's a 1 in 25, but it really is shitty get it 
And there's a character spotlight cover. Next, X and Swords status. Okay, that looks like a team a cover. Doesn't it look like, like a team cover appearance, guys? So possible first cover appearance. Uh, X sword status stasis number one. Uh, there's a Laraz design variant. There's probably a one in ten. Uh, the coax variant. Make sure that's not a ratio. The Del Mundo. The Copio usually is is a one in fifty. We can't see it. The Ramos. This is a one in twenty-five. Okay. Uh, oh, that cover is cool. Kind of. ASM fifty one. Okay. Regular. Then we got the Inyuk Lee. Is a one in twenty five. Okay, this is now they're doing this thing where they're doing the LRs or whatever. Dude, what's with this cover? What is going on with that cover, guys? You guys seeing what I'm seeing? Is it not big enough for you? <laughs> That's what she said. Uh, something's going on with that cover. It might be a Halloween. I don't know, dude. Coelho variant, we can't see. Okay. Spider-Man Noir, number five. Peter Parker has been killed, resurrected, and battled his way across the multiverse, but this globe-trotting treasure hunt may be what finally does him in. Featuring fam familiar faces and foes alike, this face-melting fifth issue is one you don't want to miss. Okay. Fantastic Four Antithesis, number three. There he is on the cover. Could be interesting. Here's the Greg Land cover. That's a one in 50. Okay, that's sick. FF Antithesis, Alex Ross. I'm getting all the Alex Ross covers. Black Widow, Widow Sting number one is a one in 25. We can't see it. Savage Avengers number 13. The heroes drop a battle plan against Kulan Goth, and you'll be thrilled as Conan wields a most inspected weapon in the fight against darkness. Conan wields an unexpected weapon. Could it be Mirmir? Mir? Boss Logic variant. Shang Chi number two. Shang Chi has have finally met his match in the form of this new, or this strange new assailant, Sister Hammer. But who is she? Find out in this shocking reunion. This is one in twenty-five. One in twenty-five, and then we got the Alex Ross. Immortal Hulk number thirty-nine. 
The devil says it's the green scar. The green scar says it's the devil. This could be interesting. I think Immortal Hulk's picking up again, maybe. So here's the spoiler. You can't see it. Strange Academy is there. Alex Ross is the uh, Scarlet Witch. Star Wars Dr. Aphra, number five. Here's the Dotson variant. Second print, FF2 Antithesis, Neil Adams. Here's Black Widow, Widow's Sting, number one. Why do they keep re... Why do they keep redoing it? Damn it. All new tale. The Infante variant. I like Infante. Of course, they're going to redo that. Okay, so True Believers, Black Widow. True Believers, The Thing one. Here's your 1 in 100 Timeless Virgin. Your one in a, these are all the 1 in 100 covers. Marvel Zombies Resurrection, number 4. Inyuk. Can't see the scan variant. I'm sure it's good. Can't see the Ortiz. Why? Why won't you let me see? The, we saw the Inyuk. Okay, so here's Savage Avengers number 13, the regular cover. We saw the variant. Dr. Doom number 8. I thought for sure Venom was coming out this week. Maybe it's not. Well, that's it for Marvel. I'm surprised. Well, that's... Oh, yeah. It's the end of the month. It'll be the 28th, right? So they kind of get the last little things out, and then they start afresh for the first... Like the beginning of the week, the first three weeks, there's usually some really good books. But this is the last one of the week, you know? Plus, it's uh, right before halloween -y. Let me check the chiz at. Last one was Stu and then RJ. Okay, ready? My brain hurts. It's the light in my face. The Batmobile fumes. Batmobile. Batmo. Batmobile. It sounds so weird. The Batmobile. You got to say the in front of it. Okay. Rick and Morty Ever After, number one, new book. Cover A. B. That's it. Okay. Red 5 Comics. We have Legacy of Mandrake the Magician. Spooky. Yeah, it seems like, you know, they get all the Halloween stuff out and then they kind of chill for Halloween because all comic people love Halloween. Okay, Scout Comics, it eats what it feeds it. <laughs> That's what she said. Grit number two, second printing. Put the lotion in the basket. It puts the lotion on the skin. Source Point Press, Backfire, number four. Broken Gargoyles, number three. Bug Bites, number three. New book, Cold Dead Hands, number one. Aspiring Mercenary, Kit Kelso, comes wrist to wrist with the deadliest hands in history. All righty, then. The five copy variant. Hollow number four. Monstrous Witch Hunt number four. Nora. Volume two number four. New book. Thompson Heller. Detective Interstellar. 
and rhymes. Thompson Heller, a private detective who travels the stars solving cases that of political or moral intrigue, travels to a faraway planet to help an old friend accused of murder. Heller doesn't believe his friend is guilty, but video surveillance seems to prove otherwise. Move on on that one. Touching evil number nine. And then all these are poopa willows that we don't need to look at. What the hell's a poopa willow? I don't know. Okay. Storm King Productions. We have John Carpenter's Tales Sci Fi Vortex number two, two number five. Titan, we're almost there. Adler, number five, cover A and B. Vault, new, well, let's see if we can do this right. Huh, it only shows the 15 copy and the 30 copy. Well, let's look at it. Giga, number one, 15 copy, Mac cover. And the Mac foil, 30 copy. Oh, here, it'll show the regular ones now. Here's number one. It says, nobody knows why the skyscraper-sized mechs known as Giga fought their bitter centuries-long war. All they know is that when the fighting finally stopped, the dormant Giga became humanity's new habitat and new gods in one. When disgraced engineer Evan Calhoun finds an apparently murdered Giga, his society and the event, this is just ridiculous, dude. I think it's time the sickness writes a comp book. Here's cover B. I like that cover. Cover B is a homage to the Shogun Warrior. There you go. Giga number one, cover B. Homage. Okay? Write it down on your piece of paper. C. Gorman. Audible number two. Got to read this book, everyone. It's so hype, yo. It's so hype. Audible number one is on the top picks. Oh, oh. Okay. Cut that out. Cover B. Heavy number two. You know, I read Heavy and I kind of liked it, but... It's a little too heavy for me. We'll get number two just in case. Uh, cover B, a yuck. I love red. You just like red? The color red. Wasted space, yeah. Okay, here we go. Audible number one, second printed variant. Let's take a look at it. It needs a push. So James Tinian saying, hey, make sure to add it to your list. Man. There's a foil second printing, too. Heavy number one covers C second printing. That's interesting. If I was Tinian, I'd be like, dude, screw that book, dude. Read mine. Mine's a shit. Okay, here we go. I just looked at something really fast. And now, okay. Van Helsing, League of Monsters number six. Xenoscope, guys. Big old cover. A. B. This is the conclusion, guys. C. Oh. Hi. C. D. Oh, my God. I'd open that tomb looking for the treasure. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yes! Boom. Let me check the Super Chat Tizzy. Super Chat Tizzy. Let me see here. Okay, you guys, get in your last Super Chats. 
before I go over the list and do the giveaway for the Slab 98 Venom 2. Know what I'm saying? Okay? You know what I'm saying? Okay, RJ Flow was the last sicko. Let's see. Then we go. Stu. Did, Stu did his dollar. Stu did another dollar. 141. Then we got. Oh, standable. There's standables. Standable. 142, 43, 44, 45, 6. I can think of a million things better than hanging out with me. Connie, one dollar. Okay, Connie, go. Good luck, Connie. 147. Mike Bradbury, one dollar. Mike Brad. 148. Oh, Stu, two. Stu, two. Here, Tom. <laughs> That's funny. Did I? <laughs> Did you really sell it for that much? Damn, dude. I thought you could buy them for $250 right now. Congratulations, Hail Satan. Stop. Stop fronting, bro. Stop fronting on Satan, bro. Okay, Connie. Okay. Hey, congratulations, man. You probably bought it for 200 after I told you, dude. You just made 150 bucks. Sick! Okay. Let me go over just in case to catch up. I'm going to tell you all my picks. Keep in mind, I'm on Amazing Spider-Man. I'm on Venom. I'm on Batman. Those are just normal pulls for me. I'm not going to call them out. Um, all the Alex Rosses, I'm getting all those. Keep in mind, okay? Here's what I got on my list. Oh. RJ Flow. Make sure to say Flow. Okay, I'm saying Flow. Here we go. Spawn 311, the Chadwick cover. I think it's a first appearance, too. Watch the That'll be the most ordered cover, and the cover A, or whatever, will be the low print one. <laughs> so maybe pick up a cover A if it's a first appearance, and everyone orders a Chadwick. And then the cover A is a super expensive one. You never know. You never know. I got you, Stu. Okay, now. Yeah, first appearance in there. Uh, Batman, Three Jokers, of course, I'm getting it. Check out. Do a search on it to see the variants. There's a one in a 450 variant. It's just freaking ridiculous. Detective Comics, 1029. First appearance, I'm going to get two cover A's. Sumerian People of Black Circle, number three, cover D I'm getting. Rise of the New Gods, remember that book, number one, the one in 25 boss logic variant. Sick. I thought it was sick. Wonder Woman 765, cover B. The cover's sick. I'm getting five of them just because I buy a lot of those for Comic-Cons. Get them signed, and I flip them. That's how I used to. Uh, I like doing that. Last Ronin, number one. Get whichever one you want. Okay? It's coming out. Probably the highest print book of all time coming very soon. Department of Truth is on my pull list. And Sex Criminals, number 69. Me and Craig are getting that. Uh, the hidden bag variant there's two though there's an art one and then there's um there's a photo one you know what i mean it's a photo okay i'm gonna do the 30 second counter and then i'm gonna remove the super chat thing and then we're done okay for a super chat entry here we go. 30 second. K. 
counter. All right, you guys. Again, I really appreciate the super chats. Up, oh, Stu got in. Uh, wait, yeah, I really appreciate this. this is what keeps me going, and I appreciate it. And here we go. Okay, that's it. So, who is going to be the winner? We're going to rent up. Oh, Lewis Pagan Ponzi. Let's get him in. That's it. Uh, well, I mean, I don't know. Maybe there's some lag. Lewis Pagan Ponzi. All right, here we go. Okay, I'm going to share it. Okay, I've got... One six. I, I got the last one was Louis Pagaponsi, Pagan. Excuse me, Pagan. I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Six times. Good luck. One, two, three, four, five, six. One thirty-six. One thirty-six is the number. Thank you, everybody. I really do appreciate it. You know I do, because I'm a sick face. Let me change the camera because it might get weird. <laughs> that sounds funny. It might get weird. Let's try this. Hi, I'm back. I wasn't really in the back cave. Okay, here we go. The winner, number one thirty-six, is. RJ Flow. I'm gonna give away one. Uh, I'm gonna give away one more, but no, I'm not alive anymore. Uh, there you go, RJ Flow. RJ, message me on Instagram or Facebook. Let me do one more. Let me do one more randomizer. Let me. Uh, I'll put something together for you. Okay, won't be a slab, but here we go. Let's we'll do it one more time. CX times. RJ, you can't win again, okay, on this one. Here we go. CX more times. One, two, three, four, five, CX. 38 is the number. 38 is the the number and who is it Brian Mulliken Jr. Hang on guys, let me see here. Let me see here. Brian Mulligan Jr. I'll do another one. I'm going to do one more. I'm going to do one more. But I have to get into my secrets. Oh, I go by... Uh, I go by economics and comics on Instagram. <laughs> Sick. All right. Let me do one more. Let me find something for Brian Mulligan Jr. 
damn, this shit's all, dude, this is all too good. This is all too good. Do I really want to give that? Mm. It's all too good. Hang on. This might be the wrong box to look at. Yeah, this is the wrong. This wrong. You guys can't get these? Crazy? Jesus, man. Got a lot of shit. <laughs> Hang on. Patience. Fuck it, dude. I'm just going to give you guys something really good. Okay. Here we go. Brian Mulliken, you win. Brian Mulligan, I'm going to do it one more time, too. You you two guys can't win. Brian Mulligan, you're getting Strange Academy number one first print. This book is on fire right now. Send me, Brian, send me your thing. I probably already have it. Just send it to me on Insta so it's easy for me. Okay. So, Brian, you're getting... This Strange Academy number one first print, pretty high grade too. Okay, and we'll do it one more time. I don't even know if he's here. Share, uh, what do I do, share? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. That was Brian again. You can't win, Brian. One, two, three, four, five, six. Your last winner for the night. This is a good reason why to watch a show, not only to kick ass and take names, but you can win some shit too. Last winner of the night is my secret girlfriend. <laughs> it's 156. Connie. I don't know if she thinks she's here, but he's, I don't know. Connie, you get Strange Academy number one, J. Scott Campbell variant. These books are freaking hot right now, guys. So we got RJ, you got the uh, Slab Venom 28. 9.8, or number two. Brian, you got Strange Academy number one first printing. And Connie, you got Strange Academy number one J. Scott Campbell variant. There you go, guys. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you use this information wisely. And I'll see you guys. Connie, I think I have you on Patreon. Oh, also, you guys, if you're not a sicko member and you want to become one, a member of the channel, do it today because I'm doing my giveaway video. I'm going to do a randomizer. That giveaway video is going to hit tomorrow from everybody from last month. And for Patreon giveaway, I'm trying to end that. But for the Patreon giveaway, someone's winning all these. 1 in 25. 1 in 1,000. All right, this is the Patreon giveaway, Department of Truth. And this, right? 
And then for the sicko, anyone that's a sicko member is entered into this. I'm getting doing all these tonight. Black Panther number one, the one in ten variant. Black Panther's hot right now. The one in twenty-five death metal three. Limited to a thousand. Okay, limited to a thousand. Department of Truth, and this. So these are good little bundles. I'm getting those all together, and I'll randomize them later. I'll give you a little time. If you decide to become a sicko member, join the club. Uh, it doesn't matter what level. And every month we do giveaways too. It's just giveaway time because uh, it's the first. I usually wait till the end of the night. Love you guys. Stay sick. I hope you guys enjoyed the show. And yeah. That would be all, folks. Bird. Birdie. Birdie, birdie. Hold on, Robin. Tight. I'll ease you back up to the ledge. <laughs>